today I'm pulling out the slow cooker and I'm gonna put together a real hearty beef stew. Of course you can use stewing beef, but I'm using this inside round steak. It'll make it easy to sear. It's tender, delicious, and I'll be using about three to four pounds. My seven quart slow cooker, I've added one and a half white onions, four very large carrots, and five medium white potatoes, all diced up. I have my cast iron on high, and I've put a tablespoon of vegetable oil in it. You can use peanut oil or any oil that has a high smoke point. Just never olive oil in your cast iron pan as it's a low smoke point and it will get sticky in your pan. Generously season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder and make sure you get both sides. Once we've got a good sear on the one side, give it a flip. Now I use this fancy little metal weight that I made when I was in my welding days. You can use a heavy pot or pan and it just helps give it a complete sear. Let it rest for 10 minutes and then trim off the fat and dice it up into about one inch cubes, whatever you prefer. And then we'll put that into our slow cooker as well. Now I'm going to add a couple of cloves of garlic, finely chop them up, and we'll add that to the stew as well, and a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter cup of flour. This will help thicken up our broth. Mix that up well, and we'll add two tablespoons of ketchup, two cups of beef broth, one teaspoon of ground rosemary, about 12 ounces of your favorite beer, and stir it all up well. We're gonna cover that and set it on low for 10 hours. When there's about two hours left, we're gonna add one can of corn, I like peaches and cream, and two cups of frozen peas. And then just give that a good stir. Now with one hour remaining, we'll add one teaspoon of cornstarch mixed with water. That'll help thicken up our broth as well. And we'll cover that and then place that on high for the last hour. Boy, that's going to be tasty. And there it is, all done. Well, now I get to try the goods. Oh boy, looks delicious. Oh. Oh yeah. Hmm. The meat's very tender. The gravy is outstanding. You're gonna love it. Thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya. Well, if you don't love me, baby, please don't pretend you do.